The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. Uh, let's take a look here at the uh, German DAX. You can see the half-hour charts, and uh, we'll be going here for just one second. And okay, uh, hopefully we're going to have a special guest here at the beginning of the show, which will be fun. And he's going to have a little gift for everyone that I think you'll enjoy. Um, it's Tom Hugard, and he gave a speech yesterday, 45 minutes on the secrets of scalping. A really great talk, and I believe he's going to come on here pretty soon. And and uh, drop the link in so that we'll be able to, to hear that. Those of you that can't get it and you're on the phone or something, if you'll email me at LarryPesavento at gmail.com, I'll make sure that you certainly uh, get the list. Now, I've posted both of the DAX indexes uh, on a 15-minute and a four-hour chart. You can still see that the pattern is still to the downside, but it still has a possibility of uh, of a little bit more of a rally, of course, because we're strong this morning with the S&P up more than 20 handles. And it's been a huge move, folks. We've rallied, you know, well over 50 handles uh, overnight because we were down quite a bit and then came back and rallied. So the key level is the 2850 level. And if we get above that, that will tell us that we'll be able to see that we're looking at that, uh, you know, be able to see that we'll be able to do that. We'll be, be just fine. Okay. Um, all right. Let's just see here. I think maybe we have Tom Hugard on the line. Um, Tom, are you there? Yes. Good morning. Good morning, and I guess you have a special gift, uh, gift for our listeners. Can you tell us what you're uh, sending us today? Yes, of course. Um, I, I have over the last couple of years developed some scalping techniques that uh, I'd like to share uh, with people that are interested in it. Uh, I, I'd rather not be known as the person who is good at scalping because it's not my primary um, uh, trading uh, way, style of trading. But um, I got terribly excited, or oh, sorry, inspired by a, a story that you told me a long time ago about Amos Hostetter, where Amos, he was famous for, for trading the grain complex. And so one day, one of his colleagues walks in and sees him in deep concentration and asks him, what are you trading? Well, he's trading pork bellies. And I said, well, I thought you were a grain trader. He said, yeah, but I'm scalping, I'm scalping pork bellies. Ooh, is it a big position? No, no, I'm trading one lot. So you're getting your... You're getting all worked up and flustered about a one lot position. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to. I'm trying to take my mind off uh, all the positions that I have in grains, and it, it sort of inspired me a little bit to do something whilst I am sitting for my other positions to come good. And scalping is a, for me is a brilliant way of taking my mind off what's going on elsewhere. And I've developed some techniques that I would like to share with people. I, I'm, not, I'm not charging for it. It's just like a, you know, uh, it's a gift uh, from me to you, Larry, for all the things that you've done for me. So if anyone wants, it's about a 150-page PowerPoint presentation and two videos of, of about an hour each. Uh, and, and they can just email me on hello at tradertom.com, and I will send them the um, – uh, I'll send them the, the 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 PDF and the links to the videos. Well, that's very nice of you, my friend. I really appreciate it. And I know you're very busy this time of the morning, so maybe next Friday, if we have a little bit more time, we'll have you on and you can tell us what you're looking at in the markets for next week. Uh, that would be really great. So thank you for sh sharing this, Tom, and we'll be sure that's hello at tradertom.com. Perfect. All okay. the best, Larry. Th Thank you very much, Tom. Tom Hugard, Trader Tom, folks. Very nice gift he's going to give. I listened to it, and it's really quite good. It's hello at tradertom.com. That's all you have to do, and he will send it on uh, to be able to do it. Um, let's take a quick look at a few of these markets here. We're going to have Shane Smolian is going to be our guest uh, at the half hour. He has something special to talk to us about the oil market, and I think that we need to talk just a tiny bit about the oil market now, folks, because they've made some changes over here. 
here, which is rather uh, rather unique. And let me just bring this up to you. Now, we've been watching the June and the July contract, but with almost all of the uh, CME uh, houses, all of the, of the commodity houses, they have disallowed, uh, and I think it's an exchange uh, rule, that disallowed any new positions in June or in July. And that is a big difference. You can see here the big ABCD pattern we had coming in here uh, just a week or so ago up on uh, at the 9th. We went, we went from $36 a barrel in the August all the way down to 21 See, that was only a $15 drop. And remember, we went from $27 a barrel in the uh, May crude oil to minus 40 So you can see that there's a big, big problems over there in that market. And I think uh, what they're looking at. No, they're not allowing us. Let me show you the difference, folks. This is uh, rather important because I hadn't seen this happen. And as you've been around these things for a long time, you sort of pick up one or two little things. But here is the open interest. And you can get this yourself. Defy human nature, they say. Do the work yourself. Let's put this up here and we'll take a look at it. And we'll be seeing here that we have a situation where you see the May went off the board. Someone actually, they, they stuck somebody with 2.4 million barrels that they had to pay to get rid of, folks. And that's a lot of money to get rid of a 1,000 barrels of oil. And, uh, and well, that's 2.4 million barrels, but that's uh, that, that's 2.4 million barrels of oil because it's 1,000 contract, 1,000 gallons per barrel so then you can see that june had a big drop in open interest okay and that means the market is increasing look at the july you can see both of those look at the june and july that's seven hundred thousand contracts of open interest they're not letting us play with we're down to trading the uh, august which has only got 158,000. so be real careful over there folks i mean this is not a this is very unusual to see something like that and that's, uh, I, I don't know what's going on, but um, yeah, right, the CME chairman said no manipulation. Yep, I can believe that. Just like the guy that told me that there was going to be three days at Christmas instead of one. So we'll have to look at those as we go through uh, the charts this morning. So just be really careful. The August is still trading, still trading nicely. You can trade the August. I'm still charting the uh, the July and the June just to see what the patterns are. We've been through that before. So that's a, a main thing to uh, you know pay attention to as you're looking at some of these things. If you remember when we were talking about the uh, crude oil yesterday, Let's just get this now. Here we're back into the June because this is still the June. You'll see this is what we were looking for. You see that little trend line there? You see how it held that trend line all the way up? It exceeded the ABCD and came back and touched it. We're still looking for $19 a barrel. And I think that's where you're going to run into some problems in the nearby contract. What you have to do, though, because you can't trade the June or July, what you have to do is to go into the August, and that's what we're doing. We're watching the August contract because the August will tell us that we're going to be able to find a place to uh, to be a buyer and seller. Let's just bring this August up one more time, and we'll do this together just to show you what I'm going through here. You can see here we had a bottom at 21. We had a top at 25 and a half. We pulled back to the 382 retracement at 24. If you add the ABCD on that, it's very simple. Add AB plus CD. It's going to take you to that gap up there at around 28.50, about another 3 or $4. So that's what you want to be watching for in the August crew. 877-922. Seven six six four eight. If you're not currently using the Taz Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The Taz Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. 
Headed by Steve Dahl, Taz understands that in today's technological world, the use of top flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the Taz Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. TFNN is launching an open house for our Tiger's Den. For a limited time, you can get a 30-day free trial to the Tiger's Den. Just enter promo code OPEN at checkout and pay nothing for 30 days while you try out your Tiger's Den membership as part of our open house. With market volatility at an all-time high and people all over the world working from home if possible, TFNN is hosting an open house in our Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is an interactive chat room that runs all day where other Tigers and Tigresses discuss trading ideas with the hosts and members along with charts and current market news as well as live access to the charts the hosts use during their programs join us for the tiger's den open house begin your den membership today by just entering open at checkout and pay nothing while you try things out for 30 days for all the details and to start your den membership today visit the front page of tfnn.com don't miss out on the tfnn tiger's den open house taking place now sign up today Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, we're back, folks. We're going to talk about a stock called Roku. I don't know what the Roku is, but someone asked me to talk about it. They asked if this was a three drive to a top pattern, and no, it is a one, three, five pattern. It's where three and five are lower than one. You're in a downtrend. Uh, this is a perfect definition of a trend line. Boys and girls, if you like trend lines, they work really great when you do work with Fibonacci numbers because when they break above these ratios, like we're looking at here in Roku, if we get above that 0.5, that tells you that this pattern has failed. And also, if you look at the symmetry here, it's quite nice because the time frame between 1 and 3 is equal to, to the time frame between between three and five, very, very close. And uh, if you look at one to five, that's a 61% retracement. And that's basically the definition of that one, three, five pattern. And I've mentioned many times we got that from, I got that from Roy Longstreet and Bill Longstreet. And they asked me not to share it till they had gone up to that big trading place in the sky. And uh, they have taken that trip. And I had talked. To him, just to say it's really nice up there. Anyway, keep an eye on this one because uh, it should be in a downtrend. Uh, we top somewhere, we double top up there between all, between August and November, and you'll notice the ABCD that was there between September up into October, down into November. Beautiful ABCD pattern and down. Remember these patterns. Patterns. They do things. One, they help you to control the risk because they tell you when you're wrong. Second thing is they are predictable within limits. And the third thing is, and the most important thing, is that they repeat over and over again. They always have and they always will. It doesn't make any, make any difference what these markets are doing, but that's pretty much what we're watching here as we walk through here. Okay, now, um, we were talking about um, the coffee last week, if you remember, uh, early this week, and we went right down to that. Um, let's just bring that coffee up just 
to make it quickly. I think we, I wanted to share that with the folks here to, to show where we are here in the coffee because it was, uh, hey, hey, folks, so the last time I traded coffee was right after World War II. So hold on here and we'll get this up here and we'll be able to show it to you, I hope, anyway. Yep, there we are. We're right now, we're down there and we're right at this level right now as we speak. Of course, we were there in corn, too, and look what happened. They spanked us in that one for a few pennies. Okay, here here we go in the coffee market. You're going to be able to see it right here. Um, oh, David, you post these things on these quotes. It's just absolutely spectacular. David White has just posted another post from uh, Jesse Livermore. Read that book, folks. If you've, if you've never read that book and you're trading, you've done yourself a great disservice. Reminiscences of a Stock Operator by Edwin Lefevre, which was the pen name of Jesse Livermore, and it was really a spectacular book. Anyway, getting back to the coffee, you can see here that we've made the 78% uh, level right on the money. This is what we were looking for, uh, and what you want to be able to do, folks, is if you go anything below 106, uh, you are flat out wrong on this. In fact, I would say not risk more than a penny or so here because we're right there. And if it's right, it's not going to get any lower. So there's a place where you don't have to risk more than a penny to trade a contract that's worth, uh, you know, quite a bit of money. But you can see it has some big patterns that are in here, which are nice and uh, makes it uh, perfect for trading. So let's uh, let's watch that as we walk through these uh, things that we're looking at each day here. Okay, now we need to talk just a little bit about the one that we've been watching very, very closely, and that is is that gold contract, boys and girls? We went up there and we hit, we hit that number we were looking at yesterday. And I'll tell you, uh, if this, I'll, let me, okay, the number we were looking at, the seven, the seventy-eight point six level came in at seventeen sixty-two, and uh, the high was seventeen sixty-four. We dropped all the way down to seventeen forty, back to that old three eight two level. We're now trading around. Uh, 1755, I believe. And if we get above 1764 uh, today, I would be um, thinking that we probably go higher. Now, we sent out a short on that, and uh, it uh, worked out pretty good. It had $20 in it. Of course, it moved so fast, you can't really. We were looking for a $30 first profit objective. But if you're in that trade, either short silver or short the uh, uh, the Dow, the uh, the gold. Make sure that you put your stops at break even. That way, you don't have to risk anything, and that's the real key: is to control your risk because you don't know what's going to happen in these markets, and you know it's going to be really interesting. Uh, interesting. You mean your you mean your father made you read that when you were a teenager? My gosh, Tammy, you ought to be uh, very proud of your dad. He must have really been into investments, unless you're. Uh, unless you're 21 years old. Anyway, that, it's a fabulous book. If you haven't read it, folks, you're really doing your surf, yourself a service. <laughs> no, Jim, <it's, laughs> John, John just posted in there, when I was in Terre Haute, did we swim in the Wabash? Uh, there was so many, Mr. Z, you could walk across the Wabash. The, the Wabash was never clear. It was always muddy because of all the farmland that was in there. As you went farther uh, south, uh, and as the Wabash went farther south, it became clearer and farther north, but not around uh, Terre Haute, Indiana. Anywhere between uh, Clinton and Terre Haute, all the way down through Vincennes, it was always muddy. I mean, it was uh, it was never clear. And you never ate fish out of there because you had to clean the sand out of your teeth before you could eat it. So anyway, let's move on here and talk a little bit about this gold market. It's got a real chance. The problem that we uh, – wow, that's very good. That was really good, Tammy. You Oh, that's very be able to see that. Okay, let's move around here. Uh, let's move around here. Uh, oh, they, the Wabash didn't go through Fort Wayne, Indiana. No way. No, I don't think so, Gator. Fort Wayne's on the other side of the, the other side of the state. Well, what do I know? I've probably forgotten. All I remember as a kid, we used to we used to get on the bridge there, the, the railroad bridge, and we would crow, uh, hike all the way up to the top of it and walk all the way across the bridge on the on the trestle as the trains were going by. And you don't think it's shaking like crazy? Unbelievable. <laughs> okay, let's uh, let's just take a quick uh, pause here. To I want to mention to you uh, one more thing about the crude oil. There is something there is something going 
going on with the people at the Merck. They've made some changes. I think they're going to change the contract because of the news that they got, and they certainly don't like bad press. So be very careful if you're trading the August contract. Watch how it's trading, folks. If it's not trading tick for tick like we usually get, then stay away from it. If you start seeing spreads in the August where it's five fifty to a hundred dollars, stay away from that. You don't you don't need that. That's not really uh, not really not really worth it. So we'll you know we'll have to be able to see if that's going to be the case or not. But anyway, those are things that I'm pay, paying so much attention to. So that's it. By the way, did you folks know that I actually walked across the Mississippi River? Yes, sir, I did. Up in Minnesota, uh, I think it's about uh, it's about five. Uh, was it? It's about 50 yards wide at the beginning of it, and you can actually walk across it. So we'll see that. Okay, Mr. Z is asking, do I see a trade in the E Mini today? Yes, sir, I do. For what it's worth, I believe that uh, this a uh, 20. Uh, 7, 2807 level is going to hold. I'd have to put a uh, put a pretty wide stop on that because it's swinging pretty big. But that's what I'd be watching is 2807 as a potential for a sale. And uh, I, I would keep a very, very close eye on that one for sure. And also the bonds. Uh, we've got a really good, really good setup in bonds. 877-927. Stay tuned for Shane, the Wolf Trader .com will be on soon. Larry Pezzavento watches the markets 24-7, and now is a great time to try out his daily trading service, Fibonacci 24-7. Larry publishes videos and charts for subscribers throughout the week when warranted, and every weekend he puts out a thorough report covering worldwide markets, futures, commodities, and currencies with Fibonacci retracement levels, possible trading setups and zones, and stops and targets for all recommendations included. Larry applies the principles he's developed over decades of trading while analyzing a variety of markets for subscribers. To see for yourself the types of videos, charts, and analysis that Larry provides for his subscribers, sign up for Fibonacci 24-7 today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under the newsletter tab. You'll also gain instant access to Larry's archive subscriber webinar from earlier this year. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Sign up today. If you're a trader in the market looking to find the path that leads to maximizing profits while decreasing risk, then now is a great time to try out Dave White's daily trading service, The Path of Least Resistance. Through the use of options and equity trades, Dave advises his subscribers on a daily basis of the current market conditions and what possible trade setups are on the horizon. The Path of Least Resistance is published every trading morning, often with updates intraday when initiating trades or closing out positions. Dave White has advised his clients of some outstanding winning options and equity trades in recent months, and now is a great time to try out for yourself. New subscribers to the Path of Least Resistance receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the types of options and equity trades that are available by signing up for the Path of Least Resistance today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com and selecting the newsletter tab. Sign up today. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. 
For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks, and I'm pleased to announce we're going to have the WolfTraderFutures.com man himself. St. Smolian's going to talk to us today. How are you, my friend? Good morning, Larry. Is Good this the morning. office of Duke & Duke? Yes, sir. 100 South Broad Street, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, 19174. Send all checks there. Go ahead, my friend. You've got the mic, and I think you want to talk to us about crude oil is one of the topics today. Sure. Uh, let's start out with uh, the fear and greed index here, because uh, we usually start out with that, and then I can go to oil first uh, to talk about that. The fear and greed index is an index that measures sentiment in the markets, and <clears throat> anything that's low, uh, you know, below 25% is generally looked at as bullish. On the recent downtrend, we hit levels of 1% and 2%. So today, we're still at a level of 40, which is uh, relatively uh, still relatively bullish. Uh, we don't really see any type of um, any type of over excess uh, sentiment to the greed side right now. So that's this is for the S and P. Uh, this is the fear and greed index over time. And again, uh, you can see here that we came off of those lows uh, in that late March bottom, and uh, it's pushing up to that. Got a little bit above that 40% level, and now we're kind of tapering back down. Uh, but this as this indicator can tend to jog back and forth between that those really extreme levels, which is in this case was three, this was two here, all the way up to uh, as high as 97, 98 percent. So we're still in a mid range here, generally still more of a bullish uh, type of a profile uh, on this indicator right here. Um, the coronavirus here. Uh, we are still climbing, but it, the rate of the climb could be decreasing right now. So that's something to watch. Uh, I have different polynomials here that I use to model model this, and uh, it sh shows that it could be slowing down. So that's good uh, if it is starting to round out in the top there. So uh, what, I, what I'll do here is I'll go down to oil uh, to start out with that, since a lot of people want to hear that. And I'm going to start my spiel here by talking about the concept of demand, uh, human population. Uh, we need to understand that uh, even though we do have an excess supply right now in oil, we do have a global population growth that is exploding. Uh, and everything that we use, every vehicle that we use, every airplane that we use, every tank that the military uses runs on petroleum. Okay, So we, we're in a petroleum society. Even if you have a, a Tesla or one of those electrical cars, you still have to power that by burning fuel. So uh, since 1980, we've seen a 77% increase in the global population, uh, and this is not going to slow down. Now, there's estimates that it might slow down, it might show a curve, but as it is right now, it's still pretty much on a linear path higher. And so because all of our vehicles are on oil, because of our airplanes run on oil, because of everything that we do runs on oil and uh, depends on petroleum, even down to our tires and our car, um, that demand is not going away. So we need to understand that. So right now we're in this really excessive, excessive, excessive um, psychology on oil right now where everyone's saying nobody wants it and it's, there's excess storage, which is true, which is true. But I believe this is a temporary phenomenon because we have the decreased demand from coronavirus, uh, 34, 30 to 40 uh, percent, and we have all of these factors coming together. And I'm going to talk about we're at a multi-decade low in terms of the cycles that I look at. Now, these are the cars. So the cars have only gone up about 28% in fuel efficiency. If you go back to that same date in 1980, uh, right here. So wh what's happening here is that the efficiency of the cars is relatively flat. I mean, we had a little bit of a jog up here in recent years, but this is not going to improve. But the global population is going to continue to spike. And so, you know, the demand for oil is going to continue to go up. Now, there's other factors that are involved. Of course, we've had this shale boom and we've had all of these new ways to drill for oil. And I think that has accounted for the recent decline that we saw uh, since the 2009 levels, 2008, 2009 levels. But but I don't think that this these low prices are going to stay that low. And I don't think this is a function of any type of a <clears throat> of a, like a depression uh, or economic collapse. That a lot of people are talking about. I just think that we're at some type of a major cycle low. Obviously, this is a multi-decade low. 
Uh, but you know, these dem the demand for oil, is, it's not like we're, we, we're going to solar or wind energy. If that was the case, oil would go to zero, but that's not the case. We're not even close. Like even in the electrical cars, like I said, you have to charge those by burning fuel unless you're doing it with a nuclear power plant. So this is the chart here of oil. And uh, the, the sun, okay, so this is the actual birth chart of oil. So March 30th, 1983, you can look these up. So when, when, is the when did these commodities have their first trade date? What does that mean? That means that's the first date that they start trading on the CME. And this is the NYMEX, or, or the CME of the NYMEX, depending on which submarket it trades on. But this chart of oil is this the sun is in nine degrees of aries okay so what does that mean that means that just like when a person is born they have a chart it makes an imprint on you just just the same thing happens with commodities when they start trading they have an imprint on them the sun is at nine degrees of aries and the mars in the chart is around 25 degrees of aries so what does that mean that means that oil strongly correlates with the sign of aries and when Mars is in Aries, Larry, you have that in your chart too. I have that in my chart too. Mars rules Aries. So that's like a double Aries influence on oil. So we would expect oil to be very positive when Jupiter, the planet of expansion, when Jupiter comes into, um, into the sign of Aries. So when you get that conjunction, we would expect oil to rally. Now, Jupiter is a 12-year cycle <clears throat> and... It, it stays in each sign for roughly one year. So this is a chart right now. This is the oil Jupiter cycle. And you can see where we are right now. We're at a major low on this cycle. It's not the most extreme low. The most extreme low comes uh, at the end of Virgo. But we are at a major low on a 12-year cycle. And it's there right now. So if we look at this this is suggesting that we're at a major major low on this 12-year cycle and we're also at a major low on a, on a multi-decade cycle in oil and like i said before the demand is not going away for oil just because we've improved our refining capacities and we have these shales and drilling and all of these different new ways to drill for oil the global population is going to outpace anything that has occurred with that and eventually we are going to run out of oil it's not it's not an it's not an infinite commodity so we have to understand this. And the psychology right now is so, so, so extreme that this is like ideal in terms of everything lining up, and in particular with this cycle here. Now notice, if this is true, we should see a rally into Aries. And that's exactly what we see on the chart here. So we're at this low here. And if you go forward in time, now this is multiple years here. And this chart actually continues over on the left. So I'm on the right side now. So you got to go back over to the left here. And you see down here in Aries right there, you get the strongest boom. If you take a going back from here into the sign of Aries, this is when you get your biggest push up into here. Now this is gonna occur from 2022 to 2023, and it's gonna occur from May of 2022 to 2023, and then it's actually gonna push back up for a few more years after that. So according to this cycle, uh, we are at a major low in oil. And the interesting thing is that <clears throat> this, is, this is what it should be by the birth chart. And I, I wanna put a double emphasis on this. Number one, we're at a low on the cycle, but number two, the birth chart of Aries, of oil is in Aries. And it's correlating with that. Wow, that's really interesting stuff. Will you be back with us at the break, please? Absolutely, absolutely. Thank you. Shane Smalling, folk, wolftrader.com, wolftraderfutures.com. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190.
The gold market has taken off topside in a large way in 2020. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my gold report. The Gold Report took profits in four of its equities in the gold portfolio in the first week of January for a combined profit of 99.2%, with two positions left in the portfolio that have a profit of 67.5% as of January 7th. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metals sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. Will the S&P 500 continue to climb? For bold trades on U.S. large cap stocks in either direction, trade SPXL, SPUU, or SPXS. Direction's daily S&P 500 bull and bear leveraged ETFs. Direction leveraged ETFs. An investor should carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risks, charges, and expenses before investing. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus can Contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a fund's prospectus and summary prospectus, call 866-476-7523 or visit directioninvestments.com. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. The Bull Bear Trading Hour with Tom and Tommy O'Brien. Next. Okay, we're back, folks. We're chatting with uh, Shane Smolian, WolfTraderFutures.com. Shane, would you please continue? Sure. And I would, I'd also want to point out here to everybody out there that when we're talking about national defense, you know, three of the main big prongs of national defense are you got to have fuel. OK, you got you to be able to put the fuel in the tanks and, and the jets and the fighters when, when you're at a wartime. You got to be able to have food. You got to feed your people. And so this is the commodity market. And you got to have communications. And this is when the Internet, this is why the Internet was developed. OK, so this is a major component of national defense. You have to understand that. And so they're buying now. I think Trump was saying they're actually buying the oil now, which is a very smart move right now because it's so low. And, the, and they, like I said, we are not anywhere near to go into solar or any type, even nuclear power is relatively limited. So. This is not going away. The demand for oil is not going away. So I hope I've made that clear. Anyway, so we, we've established that oil, based upon that first trade, is the sign of Aries, and the Mars is an Aries. So this is a very strong Mars commodity. And we would expect it to rally when Jupiter is an Aries. And this is exactly what we see here. We see the strongest part of the rally out here from 2022 uh, all the way out into 2023 out into here. So in essence, what's happening right now is that we're kind of uh, – floundering around here at this low. And I think it's going to make another one um, later in the year, uh, probably near late, like Thanksgiving time. But then after that, you've got a probably many year rally coming here, probably five years or so of a rally, according to this graph, according to this Jupiter cycle. Uh, but again, this is linked directly to the birth chart of oil on the mark uh, on the CME. This is really, really interesting because it links exactly to what it should mean. So in other words, it's not just a cycle. It links to the sign of the chart. The sign should rally. When Jupiter hits your sign, you should have an expansionary period. Um, so that's that's good news. I mean, I think that I think that we're hitting some type of a major low here. I don't think we're going into a depression. A lot of people are talking about that. There's no way. I just I, I strongly don't believe that. Uh, I, I think we have a strong Fed coming in here and, and we're going to get through this, people. We're going to get through the coronavirus. We're going to survive. And um, I'm going to shift gears here a little bit to that coronavirus uh, just to talk about that, because I, I had some slides prepared on that. Uh, but right now, there's 70 companies working on a vaccine. I just want everybody to let that sink in for a second. 70 companies with the brightest men and women in the world working on this, okay? We are going to find a vaccine. We are going to make it out of this. The country is going to survive. The country is going to prosper, okay? Now, recently, Gilead had a drug that flopped in the trials, but there's many notable companies that are working on these vaccines. One of them right now is Johnson & Johnson and uh, Anovio. Now, uh, 
there's actually three companies that are in clinical trials right now. Casino Biological, which is a Chinese uh, company, Moderna, and Enovio. Now, Enovio is the one that I want people to pay attention to because they're starting the trials right now. They're, they're ending the, the recruiting process. They're recruiting volunteers at the end of April. And the stock has gone uh, gotten very uh, frothy lately, okay? Now, we know that these uh, trials are notoriously difficult to get through. You got to get through three phases, and a lot of times they get all the way to two and they flop. But Inovio has been showing a lot of promise uh, and behind the scenes on this. So this is actually a solar cycle of Inovio. And I want to show people this. So if you might want to track this stock, I know this is a commodity show, but I want to talk about this because of the corona. Now, they, they had a recent high here in March. The red line here is the actual uh, price of Inovio, and the black line is the solar cycle. So this solar cycle is actually pulling back, and it's going to make some type of a low around June. So I think that would make sense that while they're developing this trial, uh, the stock could pull back into that June level. Uh, but the, the specific dates here, I'll just give some specific dates on this Inovio, is uh, somewhere around uh, June the 12th. It makes an important low into here. So this is just something of interest to watch. Um, I think this company has some promise. And, and if this one doesn't, there's 69 other companies that do. So we're going to find a, a vaccine for this, people. We're going to solve this, and we're going to get through this. It's not the end of the world, and we have a very strong Fed in there to, 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 to help us out. So we have to understand in this modern day and age that we live in, it's not the same as it was before we had, you know, before we had a central bank. And then I would say since 2009, we have a super central bank. And they, they can do what they want. They can purchase as much as they want. There's no end to that. It's not like we have a finite supply of gold. They can print as much money as they want. Now, this is the uh, this is the planetary speed index here, and I wanted just to go through this to show some people. I, before I showed you the 2008, but this is the 2000 high of the planetary speed index. Uh, this is the S&P here. Uh, notice it still followed that uh, decline in the planetary speed index, and this is relating now to the S&P, obviously. And uh, look at the 1987 crash, followed it again. So there's no exceptions to this planetary speed index. You can go back to every single market crash on this, and it follows the speed index. Even the 1929 crash, 1930 depression crash, it followed the planetary speed index. So right now, we're actually into a, a rising period of the planetary speed index on this market. So we have some relative strength here on the market, probably to finish out this month and uh, probably into the early parts of May. Uh, and right now, the Fed use is still is still relatively strong. Uh, so again, um, as long as the Fed use is strong and this planetary speed index is pushing up, we've got a good chance here to still make a little bit of a rally on this market. Obviously, the oil news affected the, e the S&P. I mean, it got knocked down a little bit. But again, as long as we have these positive tailwinds here, the market has a chance to go up. Now, somebody asked before about the Bradley barometer on the show. And uh, so I, I just put it in here to show people it made an important low. Uh, it's making an important low right now, actually. And then it, it goes up all the way up, up into uh, August. So if you if you want to look at the Bradley, if you pay attention to that, it's actually making an important low right now on these markets. And so, you know, I think with the Fed in there, we have a chance here to to definitely stay afloat here. And I don't think things are going to be as dire as a lot of people are saying so. Uh, let's just consider that. But but we still have the virus to deal with. It's not cleared out yet. And uh, we have this transit that's affecting the world with the virus. So this transit is actually going to zigzag back and forth throughout the next few months. And I talk about this on the newsletter service. I'm going to talk about it this month. This month is a very important newsletter. I put in a lot of information this month. I'm talking I have a coronavirus transit in the newsletter. So everybody, sh it, it, this is a lot of good information in this newsletter. I believe everybody should have a copy of this newsletter. It's 39 bucks a month, and I'm telling you, it's a good value for the buck. I put a lot of transit cycles in there, and this is the best astro uh, combined information, I think, uh, that, I've, that, I've, that I've done. Uh, and it, every month we're getting better with this. But this, this coronavirus uh, transit is this Saturn at Mitos. It's moving over the Aries point. It's going to be zigzagging back and forth. And in that newsletter and the gold service, I t I'm going to talk about the exact dates that we can expect the, the midpoint to transit back and forth across. And it's about to change directions here in about a month. 
So that's an important. We could see a possible topping pattern in late uh, May, according to this transit on the market. But again, that has to be in relation to the Fed. But this is the astro here. So again, that astro, that transit has been moving away and improving during this rally. I expected April to be a positive month. It was. Uh, and then next month, we'll talk about in the newsletter uh, what is coming up. And I and I think uh, I think the information is getting really, really good now. I'm able to get since I've able to lo been able to locate this midpoint, we can use it to forecast the S&P. Wow, this is really great stuff. Could you stay with us till the break and tell the Absolutely. folks how they can reach you? Thank you. We'll be Absolutely. right back, folks. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12 six and three months timer digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well the fact is markets can be timed and i'll teach you the exact set of tools that i use that has transformed me into one of the best at what i do sign up for mastering probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of tfna.com and get immediate access to workshops where i take you step by step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. sign up today if you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. With markets trading with extreme volatility and peaks and troughs everywhere, regardless of what you're looking at in the markets, this is a great time to see the type of analysis Basil Chapman delivers for his subscribers every market day with the opening call newsletter. Basil has been analyzing markets, providing his take for subscribers to his trading services since 1984. Every morning, Basil publishes an update for his subscribers, along with weekend and evening updates when warranted. The opening call provides traders a daily market overview with regard to the direction of the key indices, selective stocks and commodities, along with specific recommendations, including stops and targets. You also gain instant access to Basil's subscriber webinar archive from earlier this year, a dark cloud cover and essential market analysis. Ride the Chapman wave today by signing up for the opening call newsletter on the front page of TFNN.com under the newsletter tab. New subscribers get a 30 day money back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Sign up today. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, uh, we have Shane Smolian on the line, WolfTraderFutures.com. Shane, can you tell the folks the services that you have and how they could reach you? And uh, frankly, I don't know how you can do it. Is there more than 10 people working for you or not? <laughs> That's confidential. Ahead, I can't. I can't reveal that information. Um, <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> okay. So, go. The name of the website is wolftraderfutures.com, and there's a Twitter which is at wolftraderfutu1, like wolftraderfutu1. And so you can join the 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 Twitter. That's the free Twitter service. But on the website, if you go here on the website, if you want to sign up for the service, the, there's a bar at the top. It says sign up here. That's where you go to sign up. 
Um, you can sign up for the newsletter. The newsletter comes out once a month, and I send out two videos a week uh, updating the S&P. It just focuses on the S&P, but there's a lot of good information in that. And then the, there's a gold member uh, section, which is like a daily newsletter. That's on Twitter. So that's a like I post up to 40 charts a day on every market, including the daily Fed juice on this. So this one is if you want a constant market updates, there's 11 markets covered here. And then if you just want to go and become a free member, go here to where it says free member login and you can click that. And you, there's a little section there where I put like I'll do webinars like I did a webinar last Saturday. I'll post the videos there. I'll post some charts and then you'll get on an email list and I'll send you emails with updates. So. That's basically the idea here. It's, it's relatively simple, but I encourage everyone to check out the newsletter. There's a seven day free trial on all services. So if you want to just try it out, you say this isn't for me or this is for me. But I will tell you that most people that sign up for the newsletter, I have a very good retention rate on that because I believe that we are providing a very good service here and you're getting a lot of information for the money there. So check out the newsletter at the very least. Uh, and like I said, there's a seven day trial on that and the new newsletter is going to come out May the 1st. So that's just about a week away. So there's a lot, a lot of coronavirus information there. I have the coronavirus transit there. So go there and check it out. I think, uh, I think we have a good time here. And uh, every month it gets more and more interesting and exciting. And we have updates, like we're updating the service all the time. And I think we're getting better each month. Thank you very much, my friend. And have a wonderful weekend. Folks, we'll see you Thanks, on the Larry. side on Monday. You bet. Stay safe, everyone. You bet. Sign only on Monday, folks. Thank you.